I don't know. Love unconditionally. I'm telling you. For the women in my life, moving forward in my life, whoever I choose to deal with, trust me. If I'm dealing with them, it's because they got my mind and my heart. I don't deal with no dumb chicks. And I'm, 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 I'm a little better judging character. So when I do find the lady of my dreams, trust me, I'm not going to be worried about her cheating or this, that, other, because I already know. For the most part, most women are going to do what the hell they want to do when they want to do it. And they slicker at it. And <clears throat> you're more than likely you'll never know. Men, most men tell on themselves, honestly speaking. You know, most men tell on themselves. But for me, at this at this age in my life, I'm telling you, you if you if you're in your 20s right now, don't be worried about no uh marriage commitment. Focus on your career. Do that in your 30s. If you're in your 30s and you feel like you got it together and you know where you want to go and you where you want to be and you feel like you're with this person, say to yourself, can you be with this person and you walk in the room and he's sleeping with your best friend? If you can say yes to that, then that's the guy for you. Fellas, if you could walk in your house and your wife is sleeping with the mailman and you think that you can move on with life after catching with her and not kill the mailman because the lady brings that much more substance to your life, that one little slip up of emotion and she slept with somebody else is not a deal breaker. That is the woman for you. So when you get into relationships, put it this way. This is more or less somebody going to cheat. Yeah. Whether it's the man or the woman. At some point, somebody's going to cheat. Now, if you married and somebody's going to cheat, is that a deal breaker for you? Would you leave your wife if you found out today that she was cheating on you? Would you leave your man today, married or not, if you found out he was cheating on you? If you say yes, okay. You leave him, you go to the next relationship. And you're in it for 10 years. Then he cheats on you. Do you stay in that relationship? That 10-year relationship when you found out he, he cheated on you? Fellas, you've been with her for 10 years. You found out that she cheated on you. Do you leave her? Do the whole 10 years get thrown away because another man slept well or another woman slept well? Do you throw the 10 years away? Now, let's think about the couples that have been together for 20 years. You've been together 20 years. She done had a side nigga 10 of those years. And you find out. Or a woman. Or ladies. You've been in a relationship or married 20 years. And you find out this nigga got two, three kids with somebody else 20 years later. Do you leave him? Fellas, you've been with your lady 20 years. Y'all got three kids. You find out the youngest kid ain't yours. And the kid is 15 now. Do you leave her?
Anybody? Do you leave her, fellas? You find out the kid ain't yours after 15 years. Do you leave her? And there's the difference between love and unconditional love. Unconditional love, you're not leaving her. You're going to have a, a, a talk with her. You're going to have a talk with that kid. And y'all going to move on in life because you already invested 20 years in this woman. The house is in your name. Bank accounts is in your name. The family, those family, family, you already accepted this kid as yours. So you tell me you just get up and walk away and leave that whole family? Or ladies, he got another family somewhere else and you've been with him for 20 years and you find out he got another family over here. He got three kids over here. Do you stay or do you leave? That's the difference between love and unconditional love. Now, most women are going to say, what? I'm out of here. This thing got a whole other family over here. This whole time, and I've been over here loyal to this man. Because she don't love you unconditionally. She got conditions. And her conditions is you're not going to disrespect her. You disrespect her. Those were her conditions. Do not disrespect me. Now you done created siblings. Now you get hit with child support and it's affecting our household. These things happen. Fellas, you have another baby by a, a chick that was a one night stand and she keeping the baby. And she telling you she keeping the baby. And now she taking you to court for child support. And your wife is upset with it. Or your girlfriend, because it's affecting your household. Is she wrong if she leave you? Or ladies, say this other girl get pregnant. And he feel like he got to go over there with her. Because you ain't got a kid with him. You ain't get a chance to get pregnant. This nigga done slipped up and got this girl pregnant. Now he ain't talking about he got to take care of his kid. Do you bat his head in? <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> now, all jokes aside. Now, or do you understand? Do you be understanding to that? And say, well, you know, the kid do need a father. I can understand. Yeah, you could be over there with her. Or do you leave this nigga because he cheated on you? Which one is it? He said, shout out Faith Evans. <laughs> Yo, shit, I'm going to block you. <laughs> Yo, leave Faith alone, nigga. <laughs> now, two pox. <laughs> Nah, but seriously, like, these are the things that I'm talking about, and they all can happen. This is why you got to love unconditionally. You got to love unconditionally because these things can happen to you. So if you're going to be with somebody, be with that person, not for who they've been with, not for what they can do, not for how you feel about them sexually. Can you be with this person if they did something to hurt you? Can you overlook it? Can you get past it? And if you can, if you feel like it wouldn't bother you, just like Monique, the comedian, 
she was saying uh years ago that if she caught her husband cheating excuse me it wouldn't be a deal breaker for her and so many women lost their mind why what the why my husband cheat on me oh. and she's like i'm not saying he can go out and cheat i'm just saying if I caught him cheating. It's not a deal breaker. And when I heard her say that years ago, I didn't understand it. Today at my age now, I understand what she's saying. Nobody's perfect. People make mistakes. People get caught up in temptation. But do you throw everything away that you build with somebody because they had uh, a weak moment? Just something to think about. Just something to think about, man.